Well guys, here we are on another race. It was supposed to be 200 miles, but because of the weather, they pulled it back to 150. So they got released out of Carlisle, PA. That's 165 miles to me. They were let go at 7.30 a.m. It was, I believe, four or five miles per hour wind northeast so a little bit of a headwind that's all the wind and pretty much stays that way I think all the way uh, here I sent 24 birds guys and this morning I took my other 19 birds to 80 mile toss as you saw in the clip before and the speeds were 1203 yards per minute. And I think I had like 10 birds on the drop. And so on the race here now, they're doing much lower than 1200. They're in the 11 something. But uh, right now it's 11.50 and I should be seeing birds by now. If I want to do any good in the combine and in the club for that matter. But uh, it's not looking that way. So we'll see guys. Good job, get inside. Good job, girl. Get inside. Come on, let's go inside. Drink and eat. Go. Let's go, 162. Good job. Good job, 162. 1103 yards per minute. Slow race, but great job. Let's see when your friends get here. Proud of you. Good job, up on there. Whoa, good. Late, but good. Good job, 169. 14 minutes after your loft mate. But good job. Your second one to the loft. Proud of you. Well, guys, it's a really slow race today, man. And because it's past 12 o'clock, I'm going to fix me a... Uh, Martini with cerveja. Should try it. Good for race day. Cheers. I didn't catch you. Go in. Good job. Go in, number three, four, six, two, go inside. 
Come on. Good job. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Good job. Up on there. Go in. You're not my bird there, Grizzle. Go in. What are you guys waiting for? Is there a hawk? There must be a hawk somewhere. Go in, guys. Come on. Let's go. 462, why they didn't even go in yet? Come on. Come on. It's okay. Go in. There's nothing inside that you shouldn't uh, go in. Come on. It's okay. Go in. Go in. Yeah, there's a hawk around somewhere. Let's go, 1018. Come on. Go inside. Let's go. See? Takes one to go in for the others to unfreeze. Good job, guys. Grizzle. Go home, man. All right, guys. It's turning out to be a really slow race. <clears throat> Let's look at the lines of my top six birds. Number one is 162, Hardy Kruger with a Jason Jordan hand. Number two, off of my New England Kittle versus Hardy Kruger. That's a 169. Number three is Jason Jordan's 462. Number four is 2051, John Manuez Mussolini with a Vanden Volcan. Number five is a Ludo Kleisan Albert Derwa, 165. And in number six is 1018 Adrian Spee's Bird. Good job, top six. Tough one again, but this one is slower. It's the slowest so far of the season. Great job. Come on. Let's go, come on. Good job. Late, but good job. Come on. Good job. Super late, but good job, 112. All right, guys. My phone actually died, uh, so I wasn't able to record more of them landing. Plus, it was uh, sporadic. So, it is what it is. It was much of a tougher race, guys. I already went to the club, came back, got the results. Uh, I was able to put in 15 on the clock. We met at 2 p.m. And uh, I ended up, uh, right now it's, uh, I don't know, 5 o'clock, something like that. I ended up uh, getting 20 out of the 24. 111. What in the world? Come on. Good job. Happy to see you. Uh, so I'm still waiting on four more. And uh, this guy here looks beat up. He was uh, one of the last ones to uh, come in. This was race number six. To give you a comparison to last year, um, last year we had one, 
I believe, four races. And, uh, in, uh, you know, at the sixth race. And then our seventh and eighth race, guys, we lost a gazillion birds. And it just so happens to be at the 250 miles station. It's a cursed station for sure. And this year, uh, what I'm doing different is that I don't care about Champion Bird. I don't care about Champion Loft. I or 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 you know, you know. I'm not going for that. I'm going for being able to keep the birds uh, rested and 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 do well towards the second part of the season as i mentioned uh in the beginning of my season this year and and so i don't know if that is what caused me to lose i don't know 25 birds in two weeks last year but this year whether it was it or not the plan is to rest the birds as much as I can, as many as I can in between races. Also because the next two weekends, not only we have the combine races, we also have two big specials. Next Saturday, I will be racing 12 birds in the Brooklyn Classic. Or Brooklyn something. Uh, that's a 300 mile out of Washington, PA. And the combine race will be out of that cursed 250 mile station. The combine did change the, the, the spots, but I, I still think it's within that, that, that valley of death over there. So uh, I sent 24 birds today. I believe this is the most... Birds I uh, will send so far this season. The numbers will definitely be limited going forward, uh, going into the combine. And then the weekend after next Saturday, we will have our biggest race of the area. That's the anniversary uh, race uh, sponsored by Birth and Boy. But it pays, uh, it pays good money, guys, for first spot. Uh, I don't know if it's twenty or twenty-five thousand points. Uh, I will have ten birds in that one, and so uh, I, I will want to have the birds uh, nice and, and and rested for that big race so again those numbers going into the combine races will be limited and and i i do want to end the season with a good amount of birds i do want to fly old birds next year and i'm not gonna jeopardize being uh, silly with 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 uh, nonsense and trying to get uh birds um you know hurt and 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 losing them but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's look uh, at the results. All right, guys. So we had four lofts, guys. Five guys uh, sat this one out. There were 54 birds basketed. Almost uh, half were mine, since I basketed 24. Uh, they got released at 7:30. At the time, it was cloudy, east wind, four miles, so that's a headwind, 61 degrees. At arrival, northeast at 10, still a head uh, wind and, and shoulder wind, uh, and, and so 72 degrees. It did get hotter uh, a little bit after that, but uh, it is what it is. It was a super slow race, not just for me and the, and the club, but the uh, overall combine. Um, I wish all uh, nine lofts had raced. Um, you know, I did get five, uh, six birds. Uh, 
uh, in a row there above uh, the 10% line. Uh, but again, I, I really uh, wish the, you know, uh, we had uh, everybody raced. But uh, congratulations to Matt. Um, you know, second uh, loft o'clock. Man, you're, you're, you guys are doing really, really good. Uh, you know, I, I, I have to say that for your first year, you are consistently, you know, on top here, man. And, and I'm super proud of you guys. So keep up the good work. And uh, I'm hoping that that you guys uh, continue to, to do well and, and the other four races that we still have to go. Uh, and also Andy um, with the uh, eighth uh, spot there. And look, my fastest bird was 1103 yards per minute, guys. That, I mean, if that doesn't show you uh, how tough of a race it was, then, then I don't know what to tell you. But, uh, you know, in 150 miles, you know, it, um, it really was a tough day. And, and look, my, my last bird, my 15th bird, clocked at 126. So, you know what, that's 12, one, an hour and a half uh, later. Um, yeah, 12, yeah, well, an hour and a half and with the speeds of 8.15 yards per minute. So, guys, I'm still uh, happy. I'm happy we, uh, with the birds. Uh, don't take me wrong. I'm super proud of them. Um, I will continue to do right by the birds. I don't care anymore about trying to get um, titles. Uh, I do. My main, main focus really is uh, this year to do better in the specials. If I do, great. If I don't, it is what it is. Um, I'm still waiting for that uh, combine win. Still never had one in my fourth year of racing. Hopefully someday. But uh, guys, that's it for now. And I uh, wish me good luck next week with a Brooklyn Classic uh, special race. And uh, fly with purpose. Bye-bye.